I'm in a easy ice, I am. In a easy ice, I am. I am. This is the Lazy Programmer, episode six, and I'm going to get back on the topic today, and I'm going to keep it short. I'm talking about the uh, how to deal with product reviews, specifically the little threaded comments that you see underneath things nowadays, whether it be on Amazon or on a Flash gaming site or on any place that sells your games, on the bottom of blog entries, just threaded comments at the end of things are the way reviews are going. And you're going to need to learn how to deal with them if you're going to produce a product that anybody's going to see. And as uh, I mentioned a couple of episodes before, the the, what you should be following is don't comment on the things, especially if the review is bad and you want you feel that you have to correct this person and because somewhere on the internet somebody is wrong, you need to uh, get a hold of yourself and take a breath and not not follow up on it. And I have a terrific example. It's from an author called Candace Sams. You can uh, you can Google for her and the uh, and you'll see lots of uh, people musing about uh, what she did. But if you, you can go to, uh, it, was, it all happened on Amazon. You can go to Amazon and look it up. It's a book called Electra Galaxy's Mr. Interstellar Feller, which is uh, some sort of science fiction romance novel. And if the reviews are to be believed, it's not a very good one. There's a uh, comment that somebody wrote. It was actually a, a reasonably well, uh, well-written review of the, of the book that gave it one or two stars and said, this is just not a very good book. The author got on, not claiming to be the author at first, but later it clearly was the author, uh, taking the guy to task for writing a bad review of the book. And then other people took her to task, and things just went downhill fast. And when I mean downhill, they went rocket sled straight down kind of downhill. It went on for uh, two or three hundred, uh, two or three hundred posts, finally ending with the uh, with the author stating that she was taking down everybody's name in the thread and turning them all into the FBI and they were all going to go to jail. And that doesn't make a good impression if you're an author trying to uh, send your book reviewers to jail. It's just something that you should avoid and I know what you're, you're probably saying now. You're saying, oh yes, John, but that woman was clearly out of her mind and I am not out of my mind and I can... Uh, I can defend my I can defend my reviews and be eminently rational about it. Well, there aren't many people who are crazy who think they are, and you might think you're eminently rational, but you might have a screw loose and not know it. So, just avoid commenting on other people's reviews, especially if they're bad. Doubly especially so if they're bad and they're actually more than four words long. That is my. Uh, topic for today and maybe I'll talk about it one more time and then we'll uh, we'll move on to something else that's the lazy programmer episode six Goodbye. back